In this video, we'll look at the resonance structures for CH3COO minus. This is the acetate ion. So for acetate itself, we have CH3COOH. And this H right here, that's what it loses. And then it becomes this negative ion. So there are two resonance structures we can draw for the acetate ion here. First, in this one, you can see we have a double bond on this oxygen and a single bond here on this oxygen. It's just the reverse over here. Instead of the double bond on the top, we have the double bond on the bottom. So these are the two different resonance structures we can draw for the acetate ion, the CH3COO minus. Both of these are correct Lewis structures. We've used all the valence electrons and the hydrogens, they have two valence electrons, so they're good at carbon and oxygen, they have octets. So these are both correct. Often you'll see this arrow between them that shows us that we have two resonance structures. The thing is, this here is not equilibrium. They're not switching back and forth between these two. Really, what we have is an average of these two structures. So when we average these two structures, instead of a double and a single, we get kind of a one and a half here. So these, this oxygen and this oxygen, they're equivalent when we average these together. So when we look at the acetate ion in the real world, we have this average of the resonance structures but we draw the resonance structures to help understand what might be possible for an actual structure. This is Dr. B with the resonance structures for CH3COO- the acetate ion. Thanks for watching.